In this video, we're going to go ahead and focus on the graphical part of our application. So I'm going to go ahead and work with the main XML file. I'm going to double click it, and it's going to go ahead and display for me the graphical layout. I've also got the main XML file that we can modify as well. These are the same thing, it's just we've got a graphical interface for it, rather than having to write the code itself. And if I zoom in a little bit on this application, I'm going to use the zoom, you can see that this is supposed to represent something like a phone for us and it's currently at 3.7 inches this is the style that we've got we've got several different ones to choose from and we can also make some custom sizes depending on what you want to work with if you're looking at developing applications for tablets that are a little bit larger you can go ahead and set custom sizes for that as well but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as default just click off of that and you can see that this is going to represent the phone and within this phone I've already got some stuff from my application whenever we create our first applications or we'll create a new project within this um, Eclipse IDE, we've already got this program started up that says Hello World Project 1 Activity. This is the name of the activity that we set when we created our first project. And then I've got the name of my application right here, Display Text. And so all of this is already showing up. Now, from the graphical side of this, we can't really see how this is constructed. So let's go over to this main XML part of the file and take a look at what's actually happening here and how my screen is currently being displayed. To start off with, we've got something called the Linear Layout tag. And on this tag, we've got the layout of our entire application on the screen of the Android device itself. And you can see, we start off with, if you're familiar with tags, we start off with an opening tag, and here is where the ending uh, symbol is for this opening part of our tag for the Linear Layout. And it doesn't close until right here. And if you're from new to this and you're not familiar with this, what this is basically saying is everything from the beginning to the very end, the closing part of our tag, is part of this linear layout that will be applied to my application. And you can see that there are certain things, attributes or parameters that are part of this particular tag. And they're listed right here. One of them is the layout width. So everything on this layout is going to be on fill parent. Basically what that means is it's going to stretch all the way across the device on the screen that we've got. And then we've also got the layout height, which is also fill parent by default, which means it's going to stretch all the way from the top to the bottom of my device as well. And the orientation is vertical. And if we go back to the graphical layout, that's what we want. This device is currently set as a, at a vertical layout, but we want it to be vertical in, in the um, respect of the fact that if we put a new object in here, it's going to come after it down below, and it's going to keep working its way down uh, vertically, starting at the top and working its way down to the bottom. So let's go back over here to the main XML, and I've got one thing in here so far. It's called this text view, and if you can think of this more, if you work with for a lot of different forms, it's more of basically a label. And this label has certain properties with it as well, or attributes with this one. So the text view is quite equivalent to a label. And on this particular text view, I've got the layout width, which means the fill parent, which means go all the way across the width, and the height is set up to wrap content. This is going to be the default for a lot of our objects that we're going to work with, so we can add more content below it and so forth. The text itself, this is an attribute that we've got. It's going to go ahead and say in our text. Now it's referencing this at symbol, which means it's going to be something we've already got created. Reference a string and the string's name is hello. So we're going to reference a string named hello. We have not created a string called hello, however one currently exists. And So let's go ahead and take a look at our strings XML file and you can see if you're on the resources part of this I've got two strings that are already created in my project. First one is called hello. If I click on it I can see this is the name of my string and then I've got a value. This is the text value. I'm going to modify this one and we can see that actual changes take place. Hello world, comma, I'm just going to put my first project. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. You'll notice at the very top here, this little asterisk that appears up here. This means that we've made changes that need to be saved. So I'm going to choose File, Save, and that'll go away. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this XML file. Now on my main screen, I'm going to switch back over here to the graphical layout and you'll notice now that it's in my graphics hello world comma my first project so that change we made here to the string now it gets displayed here on my graphical side and so now we've got this displayed I'm going to switch back over here to my main XML 
and we're going to look at creating another text view and rather than referencing a string we're going to actually hard code the text in there the string that we want into this particular one so we can see how this works and so I'm going to create another text view we've got two ways of deciding how to do this I can actually write the code itself or I can actually go over to the graphical layout and look for this object to move over to my particular application I'm going to switch over to the main XML and we're going to type this code in ourselves. In fact, I can highlight this entire area and I'm going to right click here, choose copy, and then I'm going to come down and I'll just space down and hit enter a few times after that and paste in another one. There we go. So we just copied and pasted it. Now I've got two identical ones here and this is not what I want. I don't want to have two identical ones. What I want to have is this one modified a little bit there. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the at string hello and I'm going to leave my double quotes in there. Whenever we work with strings in programming languages, strings have to be within double quotes. And that's basically what a string is. It's a bunch of characters strung together and spaces could be involved in there as well to make things look a certain way. And so what we need to do is we need to always have strings within double quotes so that it knows it's all one thing together, strung together. And so Android text, I'm going to go ahead and put in there by Matthew Penning. And then this is going to go ahead and add another line of code down below it. So now I'm going to go ahead and save it. Choose File, Save. You can see that asterisk went away that was up there. And I'm going to switch back over here to my graphical layout. And there it is. Hello World, my first project by Matthew Penning. So this is modifying these text view objects that are here on my main XML file. In the next video we're going to look at putting in a button within my graphical layout.